hi guys i welcome you to our one week tiktok mastery course i am just in praise and i'll be your course facilitator for our one week tiktok mastery course um i would like to thank tostra digital for their email support they have been with us actually throughout this journey so i want to appreciate them for their good work they are the best digital marketing company in ghana and also johnson praise tv so we are actually bringing you this course so please um pay attention to whatever we do here the reason for creating this course is to actually help those who want to enter into content creation or those who want to become influencers to learn the basics how they can become content creators how they can build their account how they can create content not just com content but captivating content content that are pleasing content that that can actually what um help you or uh, yeah help you get a lot of uh, followers or reach out to a lot of audiences so these are some of the things we doing. and also teach you how to monetize your account how you can make money from tiktok we don't just want you to be a tiktok user but we want you to be what someone um who aims or wants you to monetize your content and also make a lot of money from tiktok so that is what we'll be doing so that is the reason why we created this course and we'll be teaching you how you can make up to ten thousand that is just the beginning but the, the target is for ten thousand us dollars every month okay as a beginner but we have people that actually what earns a lot in my introductory session i i, I gave you the highest ns uh, the higher earner on tiktok okay the person earns um 17 million us dollars every month there, there are, there's also other guy to who earns what eight million dollars a year so it tells you that if you devote your time into this business you make a lot of money and this is what we are out we are coming to teach you so it's a full course so please if you haven't watched the previous ones you can check it out and then or subscribe when you subscribe you'll get access to all the videos and then also watch them so that is what we'll be doing in our previous videos or uh, the first video that i released we're able to talk about um tiktok tiktok the background of tiktok and 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 some specifics okay how you can create your own account how you can change your account to what a business account and and the kind of content you should create and content you shouldn't be creating we took we taught you all these things and and how you can niche down okay the topics the most exciting topics you can what niche down in ghana in in and throughout the world to topics that you can niche down i listed several a lot of them okay a lot of them i listed so many topics so if you need the if you want the slide the slides that i've designed for this course you can email me at um johnson priest at gmail.com the priest that is z yeah without any e so or you 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 can send us mail through at tostra digital email that's tostra digital at gmail.com or zero five four five forty one twenty seventeen if you reach out to me i'll send you the the full what, um slice for you to also go through it so that is it so i today we'll be looking at different thing okay today we'll be looking at different thing and is what how you can create captivating content that is the most important part of content creation is the integral part of what content creation if you don't know how to create content then you will not have followers you always be complaining that people don't like your videos you hear people saying that 10,000 uh, views zero uh, comment all these things are odd part so we'll help you to reach out to people and will teach you how you can what you can um actually uh, uh, um blow okay we'll teach you how to blow how to also make money some people have a lot of um, um followers but they don't have enough engagement there are people too that don't have followers but they get engagement you can have less than uh, 300 followers and you can be making 10 uh, you can be making money from uh, tiktok you don't need to really meet the requirement so these are the things we'll be teaching you so today as as um without wasting my time 
Now, when you talk of storytelling, what is actually storytelling? Okay, you know, um, most of content created, what they normally do is to tell a story. So you see, they'll bring a, a, a two pictures. Okay, one on the left side, one on the uh, the right uh, side of. I mean, whatever video that they are shooting, and they will start to what, narrate it. But through the process, a lot of them make me. They, they make mistake. A lot of them make mistake. Um, their presentation, how they go about things, how they start it, how they end it. They end up making a lot of mistakes. So, um, through that, people don't really engage them. Okay, uh, the moment the person even uh see the the the, the um the nature of your content or how the content looks like and a person will just skip the video because it is not appealing so we will look at all these things so we'll teach you how to you can create content yourself all right so let's let's start business let's start business so storytelling is the art of using words images sounds or other mediums to convey a narrative right so when you try to use words images sounds or other mediums to convey a narrative then that is what we call it, a storytelling so storytelling involves creating a structured and meaningful sequence of event that engages the audience and communicate a message team or emotional experience so the aim of what um storytelling is what actually communicate or send a message right or or, or the, that is the main what motive behind what storytelling to what to communicate your feelings to communicate your emotion to communicate your experience but um you can have the idea right but how you communicate it is a problem 99 percent of um content creators have the right ideas but how they create it is the problem and we want to teach you how to get out of this thing okay so at the end of this course if you go out there and you create boring content then that is your own problem or you decided not to watch the full video or follow us in whatever that we are doing so that's why we are here to guide you and as i said i am here to be your coach if you if you need assistance or guidance feel free just Email, just whatsapp me okay my number is 0545412017 so when you whatsapp me i'll i'll give you the needed guidance i'll i'll, I'll be actually monitoring your account on and then be giving you your regular performance how things you should improve on and things you shouldn't actually what uh, be doing so i'll be guiding you and I, within three months you become a star so that is what i'm interested in if you become a star one day one day um, um you also give me the credit right so that is it let's uh let's let's um delve more into content creation so the the craft of let's look at the craft of uh, storytelling the craft of you know you know already you know what the, a con uh, a, a storytelling is so now let's look at what the craft of storytelling so under the craft of storytelling i i have about eight or nine topics i want to share with you so pay attention to it so first the first thing is what what stories engage the most what stories engage the most so um when you go out there everybody want to <laughs> blow right or be a person your followers each and everyone want to want their content to what actually uh, 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 i mean get a lot of views or like they want to really blow so that is it so people have been asking these questions okay what kind of content should i create and what and and would that content really would uh, 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 uh i mean please my audience these are the questions they ask and if you create content without taking these things into consideration then this is the right time to take all these things into consideration because they really would matter so um what stories engage the most so let's look at it i have some points for you here we have relatability relatability example as i'm here um i'm planning to get married right because i'm not saying i'm, I'm planning to get married right now okay yes yeah, so please don't get it twisted but let's say like i'm planning to get married and and you 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 come up with a content educating 
people on things they should do before marriage. Let's say like I um I didn't really uh, plan having land or, or or even build. That thing I, I it didn't really come into my mind. It's not like I didn't really think about it, but it didn't come into my mind. But as I am on social media or TikTok, then I realize I I, I, I get your content and you try to explain things I should do before marriage, okay? Uh, before getting married, these are things you should do. These are the, the things, the signs you should be expecting from the woman or these are this, if you don't. So you explain all these things. And you know, already I am planning for something like that. So the moment I get a content of that sort, then I'm going to what, engage you. I'm going to watch it. So I in, in my previous video already, I said that you don't uh, just create content, but you discover a problem and try to find a solution to that problem. Find a, a, a solution to that problem, and that becomes your niche. So when you realize people are always finding it difficult in, in Ghana here, let's say, like, yeah, in Ghana here, most especially, you know, TikTok users, they, um, most of the users are out within the age of 17 to 24 years. They are, they are the most dominant people on TikTok. Okay. And I realize, okay, I realize that these people normally, they, 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 their plans are to enter into university or do something. So I want to create, that's my niche. So I, I, I go to University of Ghana, I pick their cutoff point. Okay. If you want to go to university, start educating them on these things. You get it. These people are going to engage me. They are going to follow me because I'm, I'm giving them what they need. So that's why you shouldn't just sit down and be creating content. Don't be showing your breasts or whatever. You can create something better than breasts. Okay, breasts can. But you can't show breasts every day. People will even be tired of your breast, right? But show them some, some things that, that they will always be longing for more, right? So let's, let's keep on going. And then conflict and resolution. Conflict and resolution. I assume you 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 get a video, then the, right from the beginning, someone slaps someone. So you'll be you'll be interested in following to the end, right? That is it. That is it. So it this content really engages a lot. The moment you see all oh, the beginning now, you see a woman slapping a husband, then you say, hmm, this one there, the woman didn't do it well. Though. It's not because you are interested in that particular content too, but you want to watch to the end to see whatever will happen so you engage them that is these are these are some of the stories that would engage it. and we have what um um uh, like chronological order so um when you talk of chronological order when you try to arrange um stories in order of Im of of importance let's take like um the the independence of Ghana. Mm? If you want to narrate the independence of Ghana, you have to what, start from a certain place, right? The beginning, the genesis of uh, Ghana. You have to start from that side. Okay, Ghana. It could be that someone don't even know we had somebody like Akwaje or or um, whatever. Akwaje, um, Buzia, whatever. So the moment you start saying that, do you know that Ghana, Ghana's independence was, um, 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 or, or is, let, you, let's say this way, do you know that um, um, Ghana uh, has basically like six founders, or Ghana has uh, uh, other founders that supported Kwame Nkrumah in, in, in the uh, quest of what, in their quest for what, independence or whatever freedom you like you put it in that way right so as you say that somebody has no idea about this okay the person will be interested in the names that you want you want to mention so the person will engage you so arranging uh, uh, topics or arranging stories in, in 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 the order of occurrence sometimes what gets you engagement but you start the story that you start from the middle you go to the end and come, you know, that's the kind of person even thinks you don't even know what you are doing. So he won't even mind you, right? So you have to what, look at it, uh, plan it well, and know where you are starting from, okay? And it should be what? Appealing. It should be appealing. The beginning matters, right? Let's continue. I have a lot of things to teach you today. There are so many things. These are courses. This this course like this, um, I learned it from one university in Alaska 
and I'm teaching you. So it's a full course, right? And I'm I'm just uh, teaching you all these things for free. I would have thought take it, be taking money from you, but I'm interested in what helping you to become the best person. So uh, the the uh, the best content creator, right? So let us uh, actually what involve ourselves in whatever. Uh, we are doing yes you can leave a comment or whatever you can you can contact me anytime you want to contact me if you need any assistance i am always there for you and then also uh new stories when you talk of new stories you are there now then you realize that oh there's cool in what libya you'll be interested in that oh so when did it happen people always want new stories People always want new stories. That's why you have to be creative. You don't be giving them or be rebranding old stories for them. Be giving what? Be looking for what? new stories. And there are so many ways you can look for new stories. You have to be very active. You do research, you read books, and you do so many things. You can get new stories for them. And stop rebranding content for people. These things are out. They have seen it. They want something new, right? Give them new things and these things will, what, will get you the engagement and also um, um that is it so going out uh, of your comfort zone so you have to leave your comfort zone by rebranding old stories and give them a new stories and also um encounter with what unusual people or places um let's take like you are there and then someone starts narrating a story say so, oh um last night i met a ghost right you may not be interested in the person's story but the moment you hear the person says that too i met a ghost you'll be interested in your getting to know whatever happened <laughs> did the ghost slap him or did the ghost uh, uh, uh chase him or what really happened people mean like him it's human nature right <laughs> it's human nature people always want to what, know something or like get to understand things well so if you, that's why if you are telling someone a story and you don't really end it, it pains them. If I'm watching a movie and it, I don't I get the ending of it, it pains me. That's why I don't like watching series, right? Me, I, I like this short, short movies because me, I want instant results. That is the type of person I am. Me, in everything, I want instant results. If you want me to do something for you, I will give you an instant result. So that's why to me, to anything, I want instant results so you um people what what encounter with unusual people or or places okay now like, there's somebody come and tell you that ghana there's a place that we always we all talk about uh chirponi or no uh, noboku or whatever they call it if there are somebody come and tell you that oh i i was at chirponi last week or oh, and what happened you know the moment you hear that thing you'll be interested in it so if you want to create and engaging content these are some of the things you should go be doing and then uh, emotional impact emotional impact there are some times eh, there are some um uh, celebrities eh, the moment they start narrating something you will be with somebody like uh M M mickey code okay this guy when when he he's narrating a story huh, or like he will he the way he will even say it eh it, it, it's in the form of lies, so, but you will be tempted to believe that whatever that is saying is true. Or somebody like Emilia Brobe in Ghanaian movie. Emilia Brobe will cry, can cry for the whole country. The way the person will cry, eh, it will touch you. Or Mami Sewa in her early days. If Mami Sewa is, is, is actually acting a movie, and, and, and in that, uh, let's say, like, these uh, sad, sad movies, eh? this girl can cry and it will touch your heart. So you may not be interested in whatever content they are showing you, but because of the emotion, that's why if you are creating content, you got, you, 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 it's either you appeal to their emotions or you, 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 you try to what, entertain them or you give them information. These are some of the things you should do. These things, some no one will teach you, right? But I'm teaching you. I am. I am teaching you these things. So you have to pay attention to them, and then you look the authenticity. Eh? Authenticity also matter. That's why when you are build, building brand, you don't post anything before you put something. Verify it. If people get to know that you are always posting um, 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 genuine content or anything you come to see come to pass or you any news you break turns out to be true. Uh, they will what? Anything you post, they watch you. There are some journalists here when they post, people don't engage them anymore because they know they are lying. 
Eh? So as you are building your brand, build it with what? Trust eh? with integrity. Integrity is very, very important. Build it with integrity and people will follow you. Character development. So a well-developed character with, with relatable quality. Someone, there, there are some people, they know how to act. And when they are acting, eh? naturally they are talented that's why I can, I can say so you have to develop this habit and then visual descriptive and uh, uh, this, uh, visual and descriptive what language so these things are also what very very important so vivid descriptive uh, language helps uh, point a mental image for the audience whether through words or visual a well-crafted description enhances the storytelling experience. And then the last one is what? Relevant. So relevance is also what? One of the contents that are engaging. Now that you know engaging content, we are on our journey, okay, to become content creators. So you know content that, uh, you know, ready, you know the niches. You know how to niche down and you know how you can tell story. So let's let's now go. Let you know the content that are engaging. So you are out. You are building yourself now. Let's look at how you can find story. So how do I even find story for my 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 audience or my followers? So you can find story from so many places. One of them is personal experience. You had a bad experience in relationship. You can share it with your 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 followers, and they will listen. They will engage you. Right, you you had a bad experience with maybe, uh, uh, um, um, I I'm I'm not good. Like I don't know how to say, but I don't want to maybe tarnish someone's brand or whatever. But any either being not always bad experience, but a good experience, a good experience you had with maybe someone you can share that one. Okay, or you know, but you should always know when to communicate. You get it. Uh, you know, people are somehow envious about others' uh, success. So, some success stories you don't really share them like that. You, people will envy you. We are in this world. People, a lot of people envy people. So, even if you are even saying it, you you put it as uh, you are not the one. Okay, step in someone's shoe and then speak for the person. That is it. And also observation, pay observation. Okay, if you realize that uh, Ghana. The youth are not doing certain things. They are the certain things are always complaining about or talk about. We are always interested in Ghana and Nigeria, Joel of, but our leaders are spoiling the country. We don't say it, eh? We don't say it. You give power to NDC, they spoil things. MPP come to they spoil it. The youth are there and they are in the country. No one talk about these things, right? So maybe you have this kind of experience or observation. If you made this observation about Ghanaian you, so you can come and fire them for that thing they are doing, okay? Because we are all building the country. It's not only the politicians that are building. They use our part. I realize a certain trend about some people or whatever, and you think by always would have to would consult your friends that you, are, you trust before you come out if not maybe some content will really bring you down so you have to always investigate the content before you bring it out then the news and current affairs too so always if you always listen to news if you want to get to know how things are happening at twitter the, everything that goes there people follow trend on t- twitter every time so you always when you go to twitter and twitter and you want to know what is happening you go to the uh, the trends you see the current issue and you cannot draft or craft something about that and then post it conversation when you have a conversation with your friend you can have an information and maybe you may decide to share it and also historic places so you maybe you went to larebanga mosque or kakum national park and you had some experience or uh, 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 I mean, yeah, encounter and you want to share it out, you can share. And then also maybe you travel to Dubai or US and you you, you, you experience something and you want to share, you can share those ones. And uh, then imagination, you can also have some idea that you think you can share. So you share all those ones. And then also they are, let's look at the um, dramatic act, at the dramatic act, all right? This dramatic arc is, is very, very important. When you talk of a dramatic arc, there are so many things that we, we need to learn under the, drama, uh, the dramatic what, arc. So we have what, the hook. When you talk of the hook, the introduction, it should be pleasing. Somebody will engage you because of your introduction. So always pay attention. So 
your 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 composure your um your dressing your background there are so many things that people take into consideration so if they will engage you these are some of the things we, how the and how you even start your tone eh? you see a uh, a uh, code the way he starts no uh -huh, and then knee the way he would talk you will even be interested in what watching him to the end so the hook the, 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 the that one is very very important the hook okay it's very very important the introduction you give is what very very important and then the inciting incidents eh? the inciting incidents is also what uh, the inciting incident is also what important so when you start the story like you want to tell a story the moment you you you, you start it eh? the more you progress the uh, the more it becomes what interesting so, okay so basically you come and you say that did you know that Kwame Nkrumah um Kwame Nkrumah um invested in this bank okay did you know that Kwame Nkrumah invested in uh, Johnson Prince Bank. Let's say I'm um, giving an example. Or did you know Kwame Nkrumah invested in Johnson Prince Bank? Because people are okay. Is it really true? So then you start to give the explanation. So they want to hear. They want to get to the end. So uh, the inciting incident, okay, is when you try to progress to the top as you are progressing. So you don't what you don't kill the energy. As you have given the uh, introduction, you see these comedians, they will come and say some, some funny thing. They will give some, um, um, uh, I can say some nice introduction, but you see the begin at the middle, as they are progressing, and now I'm falling down. And then you see the moment, that moment, the person will stop. But the, the story should progress. It should be like a, a chat, okay, from after the, after the, um, the hook, then it goes to the inciting incidents after the inciting incidents then you go to what the climax the climax is the peak okay this is where you answer some questions the question that you pose in your 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 introduction or the hook okay the question that you pose there that's where you answer as i, as I said did you know Kwame Nkrumah invested in your simple bank so the answer should what should be the climax it's where you should answer it. But the moment you see it and you answer it there, that's if giving them whatever they want to hear. So they will leave the, the content. So these things are some mistakes people make. Eh? So the climax is at the top. So it's like, it's like let me see if you are, the, the, the whole graph, eh? the whole graph is like, a, um, okay, which, which shape graph should I even use? It's like a, Let's take like uh, 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 the mocks, okay? You see the top, eh? It's, 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 it's conical in shape, uh -huh. so something like a conical. So it rises to the top and then it comes down. That's how the dramatical, the dramatic arc is. So as you get to the, the um, which is what the climax, that's where you should answer some questions. And then there's also one thing I, um, Um, there's also one thing I want to also let you. The last thing I want to answer, after that one, maybe after the climax, the climax, you couldn't clarify so many things. Then we progress to the last one, which is what the denouement. Okay, that is a, a, a French word. For, for, uh, forgive me if I didn't really pronounce it well. Is a denouement. Okay, so or denouement or whatever denouement. So the questions you couldn't answer or the things you couldn't really capture them in the climax that's where you what you 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 end it and so you've come down so you've progressed to the top from the climax you are coming down so that is the um, the dramatic arc now let's look at the structural model so the structural model how do you organize your content or how do you organize your story your story how the story you are you are bringing how do you organize it so i've already told you how to uh, uh use the uh, chronological order so you begin either from what the beginning to the end or how the incident happened assuming there's an accident eh? so when you start you should start from the beginning 
to the end because people want to hear whatever happened and what actually caused the whole thing so they want that that is what they want to hear so if you explain that thing then you the people will go but you start from a point where maybe they were over speeding and stuff you see so you are re, you are going you are getting to the inciting incident so until you answer in that some driver made a mistake and there was a crash that is what the the drama okay uh, sorry the the climax and then you come to the what, the genome end. so that is the whole thing so it's what in chronological order and so that is the most easiest the most best way to what uh, 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 tell a story. This is the best way you can tell a story. We have what the topical one, and we have what the spatial, and then there is also cause and effect. You know, cause and effect. So, I uh, because of time, I won't really spend. And then we have what the dramatic arc. So, you can take your time and also search more about the, the topical and in the spatial cause of time. And I've already explained to you for you. So, let's that's your assignment. Let's get to so establishing the elements so how do we establish the elements so how do you organize information so you don't forget it, forget about it, them so there are some people as soon as they you put the camera on them now they'll forget everything so before you you start acting you must keep everything in your mind if it is about song you want to sing know all the lyrics because there are some times that uh, you see you, you you can be tensed and in in in, in so doing or through that process you 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 may tend to what even forget about the whole thing whether you are giving a presentation or whatever you must what half you must organize your information in your your mind in such a way that someone that is actually what watching you will not will not feel so boring or whatever but you should be able to or yeah you, you should you should let them know that you know what you are doing master it this is a a, a a a full work okay if you want to become a content creator master it don't do it uh in in your own way the bible says that whatever you want to do do and do it well or say so whatever you do do it to the glory of the lord mm? so if you if whether you are singing do it to the glory of the Lord. So whatever you are doing, if you are also creating content, devote your time into it and what? Create the best content. You don't just pick content from anywhere. Don't be sitting in your room. I've told you certain things you should have been doing. Somebody will be lying on his bed and will be shooting video. And this thing, this it depends. Somebody will do and will get the uh, views, but you will do and you will not get it. So you still have to assess yourself first before you do some of these things. Some people too will not see anything uh, uh sensible just be shaking their head me I, i'm even a victim sometimes i used to do that but now i've stopped okay so <laughs> i'm a coach so i have to stop all these things and uh, i didn't know right so let's move forward and uh, so these are some of the things so this scene okay as you are there something can happen there and if you're not careful you forget about it even the the temperature the zooming the, the place is very 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 uh hot okay if you are not careful, so some of these things are very, very important. The weather and some things will can what uh, uh, contribute towards your 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 performance. So you have to uh, always prepare. Even assuming you are in the dark, eh? Expect that mosquito will bite you. So you have to what uh, prepare by wearing things that will not even make you be shaking. And uh -huh, so that is it. And now let's go to the ending. How we can end the story. So. So you can ask them what they learned from the story. So if you always want to engage your con your, your followers after everything, you say, oh, so after this, so um, you can say that, okay, what did you learn differently? Or what did you learn from this story? After narrating or telling the, them the story. So upon all these things, what did you learn from the story? So leave a comment. Then when they leave the comments, you don't leave everything reply everybody engage everybody unless the comments are too many but reply them because if, if the person send send you a message and you engage you reply the person next time when you post you he, he or she will to reply and the moment the person replies your message your content will be going to him directly but if you your person send you a message and don't reply the person will engage you again and to get to a point that you he or she may not be get your content so be interested in replying messages if you want to become a content creator no matter how 
your brand is whether you are you are the the highest and you have to reply messages it's very very important the delivery of your story then we are coming to the uh, almost the end so how do you re really deliver it this is about the storytelling you know, we'll get to the the second part which is how you can create and some tools you can use to create content these things i'm giving to you for free right so um now how do you deliver your story so one visual expression visual expression matters and said you will see looky in the con uh, in your video matters with three minutes food now if you are not a raster go and three meter and have a very nice ship before you, you shoot a con uh, you shoot a video unless you are you are not really what shooting a video if you are not even trimming eh, make sure you 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 what you comb it and look nice okay be presentable be presentable there are some people they because of their beauty they are getting content because of what their beauty so dress nice look nice and and don't overdo things some people overdo makeup and so many things all these things are not necessary don't overdo things to imp impress people but look decent right look decent and if your camera is not good you can get you can get a friend's camera then you shoot it if you have a friend you have a friend or whatever and just just let quality be your hallmark oh. let whatever you are doing there don't be doing it don't settle down for anything oh. somebody can shoot video and you look at the the the, the camera the background and so oh, this one and me the moment i see now nah, i'm born get away I, I don't watch content like this so how because if you invest a lot in your content there's a certain guy called freedom man eh? the guy is very talented and eh? if he's singing now he mentioned everything the repetition are on point the way he acts his his tonation his his posture his uh uh uh, uh, uh icon everything is on point right so you have to really what pay attention to these things and learn learn and master it craft it that's why i say what uh, um the, the the art of what storytelling so you have to what, master it well and then also body language body language somebody you see even if you you can't memorize everything i have if you are you are shooting it with your phone and eh, you can write it on a sheet of paper mm, and maybe put it on your center table or something ahead of you which will not come so whilst the whilst you are shooting the video and maybe you 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 you, you can just what quickly glance through but always don't let it show as if you are out you are reading something if you read that as well we are not but always like just do, do not let the attention the, the attention come there eh? so try to shift their attention to something else that they will not even believe that you are even watching it or like doing it from somewhere so you can do that eh? or you can have two phones one will be in front of you then so you look at it without or a laptop or whatever uh, a projector then you can be what be watching this thing and then also um, like I said, also body language. Somebody, somebody can talk, and the person will fold his his hand like that uh, throughout. Somebody too will be talking. His hand will be in his pocket uh, throughout. These things are very bad. You have to what change it. Eh? You have to what change this kind of style. It's not what, the best. The best thing. You, and somebody too will be rubbing his hand uh, throughout. It's it's not good, mm? so you have to change. If you don't even know how to, me I'm not best in 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 this kind of sign language. But sometimes I I try my best. Uh, you know at least how you throw your hand and you know if you can also learn it because it is part of your way to so learn it. Uh, eye contact is also very very important. At least I'm not saying that you should be watching them throughout. But at least you can. You can at least four seconds and eh? four seconds if you are if you are delivering a public speech at least four seconds you can you can watch someone for four seconds then you 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 you, you, you like you don't continue to be watching through uh, but eye contact is very very important if you are talking to someone eh, always like show eye contact don't be be, be bowing down i used to do that thing but as I started learning, now I've stopped. Uh -huh, I've mastered it because someone that normally uh, uh, um, actually what uh, master or anyone that masters his or her eye contact mostly dominate conversation. If you really know, eh? 
or be a or the eye contact is always on point the person was so like the person look confident all the time and when you are talking to the person uh, you, you, the person has control and you dominate the com- conversation because he can look to you in, in your eye and tell you whatever that you're doing. I mean, that is one thing I'm developing now. So to uh, whether you are a woman or whatever, eye contact is very, very important for me. And also we have for the tune. Eh? Somebody can speak fast. Somebody too can speak too slow. But always try to blend it don't always be speaking too fast all the time no speak too low all the time right so you can blend your 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 tune huh? just to what um, um to get them to really what um engage your content somebody because someone's because of someone's uh, tune will be or you're boring so the person something that the person can use one second to say you he, he or she will use five seconds and say oh crowd will check and always be concise and precise as I told you. Some people will be like, oh, uh, uh, um, this thing, eh, as I'm about to show you, that they will be going and beating around the bush, uh, then the people will leave them and go. So it's opportunity. Just let's take it like you've gotten opportunity to come and uh, deliver address in GTV and people are watching at you. President Akufuado and all the big people are watching you. You grab that opportunity and say whatever you want to say. Don't be don't be wasting time. You, you know, don't know who watches your content. So be professional about everything you do. And also, uh, let's look at the characteristics of a good storytelling. I won't really uh, uh, explain these things because of time, but let me quickly brush through them. We have um, 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 re- uh, relatability. I've explained emotional resonance. Uh, resonance. We have explained it. I said uh, this one to be so so. Uh, one of the characteristics also clarity is also what very very important then visual appealing you have to what, look nice all the time and and your dress you have to be sometimes be changing them right in fact unless you're a comedian eh, but always be changing and also be engaged eh, you also what, engage you have to be engaging so and some storytelling techniques as i said at the beginning you have to what, eh, your introduction should be appealing um, don't show it, but don't don't show, but don't tell it, right? If you're a good actor, show them that you're a good, good actor. Don't tell them that you're a good actor. Show them your action will tell them whether you're a good actor. That would also determine, or that will also show whether they will uh, be watching your content or not. So you have to always show them. It applies to everything at work. Don't tell your boss you are good. Show it. On paper, don't tell me if I'm if I'm if you are my wife or whatever. Don't tell me you're a good wife. Show it to me that you're a good wife. Eh? That is it. In everything, don't tell people. Show them. Mm? If you say you like so you love somebody, show the person the love. Don't be be be, be using your mouth. Eh? Uh, like that thing, you have to show action. Action matters in everything. So if you are if you're a good content creator, create good content show people that you are very good and you can deliver uh conflict and resolution i've explained this a su- surprise element to sometimes you cannot give them some surprise element okay unexpected surprises in your story yes uh, somebody will say that oh this year uh, so, like th- these things normally happen you will really be thinking of person want to say some good uh, uh, uh like some serious thing or then all of a sudden, a serious story has turned to a joke, right? So some of these things are, you know, they are engaging. So I thought it was, it was serious. So it's, it's a way to engage there. And then uh, closure, how you close it, and then repetition, how you repeat some words. If you are, um, if you are singing someone's song or you are acting uh, something that a, a role that someone has already played, you have to know all these things. And then creating context. Uh, uh, so... So how you do you now? Let's go. We are coming to part two. How do you create captivating content? First, you have to know your audience. Who are your audience? Are they are they the younger ones or the older ones? Who are your audience? So know your audience, okay? And then who who um are they student? Are they working or they are not working? Are they married or they are not married? You know your audience. Your niche will determine your audience, right? And then also compelling. Headline, so you always have to write headline. Reason why some of your content are not going as most of you don't write titles. When you are when you are posting it on TikTok, uh, you only write, you only just give hashtags and that's it. But the main reason why you created the content, you don't write it. 
basically like if it is about um 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 how you can make money if that's if that's the whole thing i write it ways to make money that should be the head uh, the headline because when people are searching they can get it but if you don't write anything uh, how can i find it so that is a way of what getting people uh, getting the right people or targeting the right people so you have to uh, title your content all the time and then also do proper targeting if you want to and always this FIP, FYP things are becoming too much. If you want, if your content is about, F, uh, I mean, school or it's about marriage, when you go to uh, uh, um, the search and you type marriage, you get the all the the the, the trending content or uh, trending hashtag on marriages, and then you write them like five or four of them, then you what, you incorporate it, and then you maybe you do some general. Uh, um, you add some general hashtags hashtags matters in whatever you do and trending issues also get you a lot of what views so now um also clear uh clear and concise writing so you have to be clear about it and also be concise so also tell a story so that is it and these are what ways what you can create what a content so you can be telling stories in your content and it occurs so what it should be what visually appealing i've said this thing about two or three times so I understand the search engine like how people can search you search engine optimization and also engage with your audience engage with them always like uh, let it as if it's a conversation all right so when you are i even you, you create a video in their absence but let it feel like you are doing it with them Mm -hmm. and when you get them involved they also in, uh, react or they also engage you and also create interactive what content create interactive content like i said uh -huh. also uh, use social proof this also uh, is also important and also consistent branding you have to be branding brand yourself don't post anything beyond like that anything beyond you pick beyond you post no if the picture is not nice, don't post. It's a branding. So provide value to whatever you do. And also, uh, stay updated. Always be updating your, your followers. If you want to hit, uh, you want to uh, uh, really get a lot of followers, post at least three times a day. If you want to like get 10,000 followers, if you want to get 10,000 followers within three months, eh, then this is the target. Every day, post five videos. So you, we, we, But the post it shouldn't be continuous. When you post, give like one one week, uh, two hours intervals, and you post. You post another one. As you post, people the so the videos will not go. But the the more you continue to post, you see the video. It will get to a point now. One you get one training video. One training video will make you a star. So that is it. So you don't stop what uh, creating content. So always you have to get time for the work you are doing. Always be posting consistently. And then strong call to action. So call to action, you must have what if maybe the people want to get in touch with you or maybe get your number, they say we they can get your number. That's why I ask you to what I update your your WhatsApp, uh, sorry, your TikTok to what a business account, uh, a business yeah, a business account, and also measure and analyze. So before you do everything, calculate it before you do. So there are some do's and don'ts in uh, content creation that I need to I want to tell you. So first of all, know your audience. Are they blacks or white? Are they uh, young or old? Are they male or female? Who are my audience? So if you know your audience, you know if you are creating content for women, women they are some way be eh? they are complicated. So you can get some content that you can get some comments that somebody can just be giving you some comments that you will never like. So be prepared for all this insult and everything. Eh? So know your audience before you get into it. If not, you you will feel disappointed sometimes. So know the the audience. Also create compelling headlines. Also to so use. Uh, so I've explained some of these things. You tell engaging stories incorporate high quality visuals so in the video that you're shooting it should be of quality quality video your camera is no good get a good camera or a friend's one a friend's phone or maybe you can be shooting your videos in a friend's room or probably uh, you get a very nice curtain in your room so if the curtain is this zambra marketing don't use the zambra marketing we should give you people will not take you serious and eh? get a very nice the modern curtain it shouldn't be uh it should be um 
a door color eh mm, it's not this uh, 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 brightly colors eh this kind of curtains i don't know but per my own we like brightly colors are not because brightly colors is easy to identify people you can identify that oh this person they be they be out in a white uh, uh, red curtains and him, this person always stand always in front of what yellow curtains so even if it is yellow it shouldn't be the brightly ones all right you should get the door colors uh -huh. and then something like a uh, uh, something like a uh, uh, color like i don't know your favorite color do but colors like um uh, um um how do you call it let's say like ha ash ash like this there are so some some colors like that you see they are some they are nice ash they are nice and and and, and some door colors like that and like ash and stuff and they are nice so you can be using some of these things and then let's look at the don't i say okay so i'm not done with you so encourage audience engagement so always encourage your audience what engage you provide what valuable content maintain consistent branding show uh, social proof develop interactive content so i've explained this and let's let's look at the don't things we shouldn't do as a content creator neglect audience understanding so always know they are your target audience if they are a uh, junior high students eh, you don't have to be using jargons if not they won't understand if they don't understand they will go there are so many there are millions of content out there so don't think they will spend time on your content so when they come to your dm make sure you grab them with every opportunity you have to understand and, and know the the, the 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 target market okay or the, the group you are dealing with you know how you target them also use uh blend and what on the use of blend and uninspiring headlines there are some headlines that are very very bad some people are very bad in giving headlines so if you don't know that's why i'm there you can be engaging me all the time you message me i'll be teaching you how to go about these things over here overwhelmed with what complex writing some people to be writing complex plenty of things they can be concise in to be, people don't have time to be reading especially if you're on twitter and you want to be writing plenty plenty things people won't People just want to something they they are doing a lot already. People are at work. They don't have time to read all this your grammar and whatever you are saying. They've seen it before. Just be simple and go your way. And then also ignore the power of storytelling. So some people too will not master it, but they want to get they want to become uh, 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 content creators. It is it is not it is not going to work. Also neglect SEO consideration. SEO the search engine. So how people can search and get you. You, neg you neglect that one. That's why I say in, even in niching down, so, uh, so, uh, sometimes even your brand name in Christ, good that you add what some uh, uh, um, you add some keywords to your your name. If you are maybe let's say like you are Yao, okay, then you add Yao trend. So trend is what a keyword already. So if people are searching for Yao, it is likely that if people are searching for trending issues. It, it, you you appear there and they will engage you because of what the trend you added to your name so add what keyword to your name and it is easy for people to get and so so if you neglect these things you may not get it and disregard audience interaction some people i said you have that very bad habit if people send you message you don't engage them if a woman guys they'll come and propose to you even in your dm but I always know how you you are reply them and also be nice to them right if you reply the person and you don't really uh, uh, go further to chat with the person, uh, at least you have replied the person. The person know you've done your best by replying him, but you neglect it there. Yeah, don't that one. They won't engage you again. They produce content lacking value. So if you produce content that lack value too, uh, um, you come and say something. I uh, you know there are uh, Ghanaians we don't like. Um, um, there are some I don't want, but you see there are some foreign lifestyle that Ghanaians don't like if you come and see some of these things and then you know people will even mind you you get it and also stray from what brand consistency so if you go beyond like your brand your brand you, you don't do that and you are also not consistent all the time too somebody will post today and will be waiting three months and post you how would you get people to follow you your content they will not follow you so will be consistent and also what follow your brand directive build a brand don't be, be posting things that are not necessary also miss out 
on industry trends so these things are important also stick to a single content format there are some people their content are always one in one way one way one way yes you have you have what uh niche down but i after if relationship is a niche down is is your your niche eh? you can't tell me that it's all you always be talking about broken heart without also talking about maybe how people can get partners how people can can have a happy relationship but your own is always broken heart people yes the broken heart people will come and listen to you but to get to a point the broken heart will go they will meet people that they love they want to live so that thing that content will not be relevant for them a, a, anymore but if you if you recycle your content and you give uh, let's say like you talk about broken heart small and then you give something about maybe how to build a successful relationship another day the, if the same person go and find a, a, a partner the person will come and follow you I mean there were some people when i had broken heart i used to follow them me like i always i don't say i, I always say i had broken heart but yes it was a disappointment right it wasn't that broken heart me or me it's very hard for me to really like i'm a very strong person so i don't really get broken down like that so you know there were some people i used to follow but these days i don't follow them it's not, it's not because maybe I don't to buy relationship issues I don't want to really what so I don't really listen to it so when I see their post or their, their messages I skip it yes I don't I don't I used to engage those people but now when they give it they're like I follow me in pe- I'm all star now you one way one way relationship on kwa I'm all kabi before front can in fact when you're before so I like a handball bra some sometimes relationships kakra self-development kakra these things are very important but I don't always about relationships. Uh, also, what half weak and uh, um, um, ambitious, um, ambiguous uh, city call to action. So this is also what also ways things you should avoid. I also neglect analytics and evaluation. So when you check your analytics, eh, you have to always check it. There are some content when you post them, uh, you know. Um, I was doing my, my analysis and I realized that anytime when I post in the evening, I get a lot of engagement than the content I post in the afternoon. Why? Because a lot of people are, are out busy during the daytime. But in the evening, everybody will finish. They will close from work and they will come online. So when you post in the evening around 7, let's say like 6, 7, 8, uh, you are likely to get a lot of people to engage you. So you have to what, check all these things. So my final... Things uh, the final topic I want to discuss with you is what the content creation tools. So the content creation tools we have for graphic design. If you want to enter into graphic design, we have for Adobe Creative for Cloud or Photo Photoshop, whatever. Um, these things are what, um, things you should use. We have Canva, we have PicMonkey, and then Crelo. And if you want to edit your video, we have CapCut. We have Adobe uh, Premiere Pro, we have what? Um, we have Final Cut Pro, we have iMovie, we have the Vinci Resolve, we have uh, Fremora. Okay, Fremora. Mora. And if you also want to do audio editing, we have Other City, we have uh, uh, Garage Band, we have Adobe Audition. And then here for you want to plan your content and then calendar to we have for trailer we have asana we have c schedule we have a content call and then if also to write and edit to we have for grammary we have a, a, a pro writing aid we have a, a hemingway editor and also if you want to screen recording we have uh Cam- camtasia we have obs st- studio we have uh, snag it snag it and they also what stock uh photos and videos where you can get a lot of photos and videos so yeah you have what on splash we have puzzles we have a uh, shutter stock and we have what adult stock and then we have we have what uh collaboration and communication that one we have slack we have uh microsoft teams we have zooms we have what google uh, meet and all these ones out and then if you are also doing project project management too we have um trello we have as as asana we have what monday.com 
we have click up and then if you are doing survey to we have type form we have survey monkey we have google forms and also if it is visual visual content creation that is social media that one too we have um we have canva we have adobe spark we have relay that and then if it, if it is about podcast creation too we have anchor we have audacity we have garage band we have what zincaster so these are what the things i want you to what um lay your hands on and there are what some ai tools that can also what create videos for you instantly like you provide the details and they create it for you uh -huh. so some of them are what in video we have video that's w i yes we have video we have a uh, 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 movily movily that's m o o v l y uh -huh. we have a uh, bit table like so like b i t e a b l e so that one they create a lot of content they you provide them with a test and then they convert it to videos for you so it doesn't necessarily mean that you should be shooting the videos yourself okay but you can be providing motivational uh, quotes by what creating a uh, faceless uh, content Mm, faceless if i say faceless you see someone like a, a content and then you see someone will be talking behind the scene uh, ai will be talking behind the scene and then uh, the, the 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 coach or maybe a flyer will be displaying or maybe some nice uh -huh. so these things are out you can be creating some of these content if you are not very good in acting but i've already taught you how to act so these are the other aspect or you can pick your videos up from youtube you can download youtube videos you see what um uh, vidmeet okay or there's some webs website you can use to download when you search website that can download you the video on google you can get some of these things you download it and then you start what uh, getting posting them and and you know always for be following what you see this trending video cycle can be maybe be posting nigerian movies some of these nigerian movies you come and post online or uh, whatever whatever you can be one be blog blogging but you don't post full video but you post them in episode all the time people will be watching and be gauging and you begin making your money from it there are so many content out there you can be creating be making money if you want more guidance contact me okay okay you can message me or whatsapp me on 0545 41 2017 but please make sure you subscribe to my channel i'll i'll bring you more video inspiring videos so make sure you do that and may god bless you for doing that um thank you or um I want to also take this opportunity to also uh, tell you more about TouchTrack. TouchTrack is a uh, is the leading digital marketing agency in Ghana. We provide uh, a comprehensive data analysis, uh, digital campaign, social media campaign, uh, uh, design services, and what have you. Um, we, we 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 use what IT and we have competent team that actually what to do all these things so if you want to do email marketing content marketing you want to promote your brand then it's the best way to what they, they are the best brand for you to what, promote your content so get in touch with touch strategy digital on social media facebook instagram everywhere on google map to we are there touch strategy digital that is top strategy digital marketing so you get in touch with us we would promote your business for you and and will brand you like your, your social media handles if you want to be if you want a social media account management then we, we will get you all these services so get in touch with us and let us promote your brand to to, to your expectation and if you want to contact us that um our number is zero five zero three nine zero nine zero nine zero or email us at touchstrat digital gmail.com Thank you. God bless you. But subscribe to our video.